The best way to nail a solo over any chord progression is to use the arpeggios from each chord in the progression. So let's take a look at this chord progression right here. Super simple. It's going to be C to G to A minor. Now, that entire chord progression is actually in the key of C major, so any of the notes really from the key of C major, if you just play the C major scale, they should sound good for the most part over that progression. But you'll see that actually, if you just randomly pick notes out of the C major scale, you're gonna start to notice sometimes you play some notes that actually still sound weird over some of the chords. We're gonna solve this problem by figuring out the arpeggios on each chord. So here's some arpeggios that you can play over this chord progression. So we have this C major arpeggio this G major arpeggio, and this A minor arpeggio. So the three of them sound like this. Now, the reason that the arpeggios are so, so good and important to know is because, guess what? Every single one of the notes in that arpeggio is gonna work perfectly over each one of the chords because, well, they're the notes from the chord. They can't sound bad over the chord because they're the same notes that are already in the chord. So now we're gonna take those arpeggios and use them to play a solo over this progression. And that would sound like this. So now once you have that idea comfortable just using the arpeggios from each chord to solo over each chord, now you can actually start to add back in the other notes from the scale. And you'll see that the other notes from the key of C can all be found around those arpeggios and in those arpeggios because those arpeggios contain notes from the key of C. One thing to keep in mind though is that we're still gonna use the arpeggios as our basis for the solo because we're gonna use those notes to target every single time the chords change. So when the chord changes from C to G and we get to that G chord, you're gonna be landing on one of the notes that's from the G arpeggio. Something like this. So there I used a few different notes from the C major scale and then I landed on a G note. So here's what an actual solo with that idea of targeting the arpeggio note sounds like. So everything we've kind of done here has been in the same position of the fretboard, but you want to be able to do this all over the fretboard. And the best way to do that is to actually understand what notes are in each of these chords and then be able to work out shapes all over the fretboard for each of these arpeggios. And you'll notice that actually all of the major arpeggios look the same and all of the minor arpeggios look the same. They just start in different areas of the fretboard, for example, like C major and G major. They're all gonna actually have the same shapes, but they're gonna be in different spots in the fretboard. So you should know that the notes in all these chords are C, E, G for the C major chord, G, B, D for the G major chord, and a, C, E for the A minor chord. So this is what it sounds like if I use this idea of targeting the chord tones all over the fretboard.
So you should be able to nail all the arpeggios in any chord progression that you solo over and in any key. And if you wanna learn how to master the fretboard so you can do exactly that and be really comfortable with all your arpeggios, all the notes all over the fretboard and every key, everywhere on the fretboard in the best way possible, then make sure you head on over to jamsville.com right now and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, listen, learn, and jam.